Hello everybody and welcome back in another video. If you have been wondering how can you use the mask feature in CapCut that is generally used to transition between videos or overlaid videos on top of each other, you are in the right place. Today in this video I'll show you exactly how can you use it. Just follow up with me till the very end of this video and let's jump right into it. First of course you go ahead and open Play Store or App Store depends on what device you're on because we need to get something out of the way. Let's go ahead and search for CapCut. And once you find it, go ahead and make sure it is updated or at least have a newer version to make sure everything works properly and to make sure we are both in the same page here. After that, you can finally go ahead and open CapCut. Then go ahead and create a new project and tap here to add the video. Choose the video that you want to use first as a background or as a first video before transitioning. So after choosing the video, you need to go ahead and uh, drag to the place that you want to the overlaid video to start. Now let's go ahead and add a video, tap on overlay right here and then tap on add overlay. Add the video that you want to transition to using the mask feature. And once you add it, let me just go ahead and adjust it on top of the other one. Let me zoom it in a little bit and then tap on this keyframe feature right here. Then all you need to do from here is to go ahead and scroll from here again and tap on the mask feature right here to enable it. Now. Choose a transition, you can try out any transition here, I'm gonna just use the first one to show you guys how can we do it. Because this video is just to show you how can we use the feature and we're not gonna focus on the result. So after playing the video or making it forward a little bit, you need to go ahead and uh, swipe down or up or depends on the direction of the transition. Go ahead and make the transition go to the direction that you want slowly with the video just like that. And once you're done, let's go ahead and see the result. As you can see here, the transition is added and you can do that across the whole video. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope it was useful. If it was, please like, leave your questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer every single one of them. And of course, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.